Okay, level fooders, so this is one that the kids can make. Now, if you want to keep your kids from getting frustrated about the bread um, ripping or something of that nature, here's a little secret. Take the peanut butter, put it tablespoon into a ramekin or a small bowl, whatever you got, and stir it around just a little bit and let it become malleable. See how that is nice and soft now and creamy? And then let your kids spread it with the spoon, right? So they could go ahead and they could put, you could drop it on their form or let them do it. Just have them drop the peanut butter in there and then let them spread it with the spoon. See how that bread is not going to rip? Just teach them how to be gentle and, and just move that peanut butter all over the bread, covering every part. All right, so that's getting the peanut butter onto the bread. You can use any kind of bread here. Remember, I'm using white bread because that's what I had in the house, but you, uh, with your children, may want to use a wheat bread or something of that nature, what you normally feed them. Now let's go ahead and do the jelly part. And I put the jelly right on top of the peanut butter. I dabble that right on there for them. And we can go ahead and we can just spread the jelly out. All right, so that's a regular peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Something that you can do with your kids just to let them start understanding how food works, how to spread things, how easy it is to do what you need to do. Now let's take this one step further though. Let's go ahead and make this a Valentine's peanut butter and jelly sandwich. We wanna make sure that we have enough room on our bread so that we position our cookie cutter so that there is still room on either side. I wanna show that to you, see how I have room. And then I'm going to go ahead and just lightly press down with my cookie cutter and move it just ever so slightly back and forth. And I'm gonna pull off all the excess bread and now I'm gonna pop my sandwich out. And there we have the most beautiful little Valentine peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Now, if you're a mom who likes to think ahead, and I know, or a dad who likes to think ahead, I know there are some of you out there that say, well, you know what, I'd like to make these ahead of time and pop them into my children's lunch. So you can go ahead and just pinch the edges closed with your fingers, and then you'd be able to go ahead and just freeze these sandwiches, just like you see those ones in the store that are a little bit expensive. I would freeze them individually in little baggies and then pull them out on the day of Valentine's. So I hope you've enjoyed how to make a peanut butter and jelly heart-shaped Valentine sandwich with your children on Valentine's Day. For the love of food, we wish you a happy Valentine's. Watch for some of our other videos that we'll be doing on French toast and grilled cheese for Valentine's heart shapes as well. Thanks for watching.